Here in mid-Michigan, supporters and opponents of same-sex marriage are anxiously awaiting a decision from the judge. One Flint area pastor says she's already preparing to officiate several weddings. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph live in the newsroom with both sides of this ongoing controversy. Walter? Stephanie Pastor Oliva says she has a waiting list full of couples who are ready to tie the knot pending this court decision. But her readiness is met with opposition from some people who say marriage in Michigan should stay between one man and one woman. Reverend Dr. Claudine Oliva knows exactly where she will be when a ruling is made in Michigan's same-sex marriage trial. Run down to the courthouse. She's all ready to marry couples like Edwin Yates and Mackenzie Ingram. This is an old archaic law that needs to be removed. Love is love. And this is a moral issue. This is an issue about treating folks, treating families alike. But not everyone shares Oliva's enthusiasm. To try to force uh, the definition of marriage into a different mold, um, I, I just have a problem with that. You won't see Reverend Brandt at the courthouse. He's perfectly fine with Michigan's current definition of marriage. And the scriptures have very clearly for us defined what marriage is, and uh, the Christian church, I, I believe, should abide by that definition. Marriage has never been anything more than a civil ceremony. While these pastors will have to agree to disagree for now, Oliva says even having this debate is a sign of progress. Every person has worth and dignity. The Genesee County Clerk John Gleason tells me he's working with Reverend Oliva to get marriage licenses issued quickly as possible if the ban is overturned. We're expecting to learn the ruling in the next two weeks. In the newsroom, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Stephanie. Thank you, Walter. Well, up